Hey there, welcome back. I know I left you a bit hanging, but I am going to show you what exactly happened and tell you why it did not work. This is a common mistake that beginner scrapers do when they play with requests. It happened to me also in the beginning. I was stuck and could not understand why I got that gibberish encoded response. This happens because the Internet Movie Database uses a compression algorithm named GZIP. You may have heard of it before. This is done in order to minimize the response data so that it will get back faster and save bandwidth at the same time. So let's get right into it and solve this. We can solve this with an extra parameter to the request function named gzip and set it as true. So let's edit right here, comma and then write gzip and set it as true. This is going to tell the request library that it should use the gzip compression in order to decompress this actual request from Internet Movie Database. Ok, let's quickly test it out and see if it works. Run again the scraper. And as you can see, we already have a readable response. Doc type HTML and yeah, everything that we had before. And also you can see the title, the silence of the lambs, so the title works. But what's up with the rating? The rating does not show up anymore. I already checked this out and I know why it doesn't show up. It is because the Internet Movie Database website changed its HTML during the recording process and right now it doesn't work. We will also fix this quickly in this lecture, but first I want to show you how you can check out if a specific website is using gzip compression. Let's go back to the dev tools. We already have it open right here. And we should look for the content encoding on the response headers from the website. And you can clearly see it right here. It says content encoding with the value of gzip. This means that this website has gzip compression and you should specify it in the request parameters right here. Okay, now that we went through the gzip part, let's focus on the actual rating. Why doesn't it work anymore? I will throw this in as a bonus. Okay, first I want to check the Silence of the Lambs website and see what selector is related to the rating value. Right click, inspect. You can see right here that the rating is in a span. It's just a simple span. Before we used the span with the item prop rating value. If we compare those two, we can see that it's not existing anymore, it's just not there. What we need to do is adapt to their changes. So let's actually do this. I am looking for a specific selector that only retrieves the 8.6 rating, the specific rating. You can simply do this by selecting the div with the class rating value and then selecting the span child. Let's try it out. So changing from span to div with a class name instead of item prop, rating value. This one is good. And now we need to select the child strong tag with the child span. This will actually select the div class with the rating value and then look for the strong tag and then look for the span class within the strong tag. This should work and let's give it a quick try. Stop this uh, debugging session and try again. Alright, now we can actually see the rating. It is 8.6 and it works. So now that we fixed this problem with the changes in the Internet Movie Database structure and I also showed you quickly how to check for websites that use gzip encoding and also how to fix this, we can now take a break and I'll check in with you after. Thank you for watching.